In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can map any button from any infrared remote controller so you can recognize which button was pressed directly in your Arduino program. So I have plugged an infrared receiver here with my Arduino board. So depending on your infrared receiver, it might be uh, the circuit might be different. For me, I have G, R and Y. So the G is connected to ground, R is connected to 5 volt, and Y I have connected it to a data pin, which is the digital pin number 7. And now in the code, so I have my uh, infrared remote uh, library here with the IR remote header. You can install that library if you go to Tools, Manage Libraries. And then on this bar, you search for IR remote. And you will see the library here, which you can install if it's not done. So just install a version that is at least version 3, okay? Because this code is only working starting from version 3 of the library. Then, so I define my pin number 7 in the setup irreceiver.begin to initialize the communication with the receiver, okay? I provide the pin here. And then in the loop, we get the command that uh, correspond to what we've pressed uh, on the controller. So if irreceiver.decode, it means that we have received some data. We can do irreceiver.resume. This is important, so we can uh, read the next data. And then the command we can get with this irreceiver.decodedirdata.comment. And now the question is how to know which command is it? How to know if I press on the play button or the up button or the button number one, two and three, etc. Well, what we can do is we can print. So I'm going to do serial.begin with 9600 here and here I'm going to do serial.println command. I'm just going to print this so we can create here. I'm going to create define. What you can do is you can create some defines, so one define per button you want. Okay, so for example, let's say I R button, let's say you want the button play. I'm not going to put any number for now, and then define I R button up and define I R button down. Okay, you can continue like this with any button you want, button let's say zero and let's take also the button one so what i'm going to do now i am going to uh, do this comment so i don't run that code which is not correct for now and i'm going to upload that code to the arduino board okay so we are going to print the command when we receive it All right, so now the code is in the Arduino. I am going to open the serial monitor and we have nothing for now. And let's say I press on the play button. So of course, I make sure the controller is pointed towards the receiver. Okay, press the play button. And I can see 64. So if I press many times, okay, I can see 64. It's important to press more than once, okay, in case you have some weird values. Now I know the play button for my specific remote controller is the so the code is 64 so what i can do here play i can put 64. so of course this is going to be different for you okay for any remote controller you will have different data so it can be a remote controller you have with your starter kit if you have bought an arduino starter kit for example or if you have bought that online or even if you have a television and you have a remote controller an infrared remote controller, you can try and you can control your Arduino with your television controller. So now I have my play button. I want the up button, which is nine. So I'm putting nine here. And then the down button, which is uh, seven. Okay, so you can see sometimes I have some zero, which correspond to wrong data here, seven. And then I press on the button uh, zero here and zero gives me 22. Okay, and the button one gives me 12. So now I have mapped 
all the buttons that I need in my program. So if you want, you can map all the buttons in your remote controller, right? Here, I just, the one I, I would probably need in my program, can close the serial, and then I can remove those lines here, if I don't need them. And I can uncomment this. And then, well, what I can simply do after I get the command is I can either use a if structure or a switch structure. So I'm simply going to make a very quick example and say that if command is equal to button play, then I can do something, okay, and then else or else if, for example, command is equal to uh, button up. Okay, etc. So you can use an if structure or a switch structure to do this. That's going to be the same. And that's how you can recognize which button you have pressed in your program. So that's very simple. First, so you write the code to get the data, the command, and then you use serial to print which command you have received. You run the code on your Arduino. So you press on the different buttons you want. And depending on the button, you get the code and you can create some defines or create some constants for each button you want. And then you simply need to use an if or a switch to go through all the command and do a different action depending on which button you have pressed. And note that this, you will have to do this again for every different infrared remote controller that you have because it's going to be different data. All right, and that's pretty much it. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.